Hey guys, I'm Uwe and I've just finished my, well I've not just finished. I'm calling, baby I'm selfish. Hey guys, I'm Uwe and welcome to my channel. So if you're new here, hi, I'm going to be starting my second year study medicine at the University of Nottingham in September. Welcome to the channel, it'd be great for you to stick around. So please be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications, never miss one of my uploads. I don't think this is bright enough, let's see. Ah! This is another video of my university advice series, could possibly even be my last one. But in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you advice on how to stay organized at university. So once you move out to university, you're gonna be living on your own, and by that I mean not with your family, you're gonna be your own person, and it's time to just get a bit more responsible. Uni life is meant to be fun and spontaneous and in this video I am not at all saying you have to have everything structured to the T but a bit of organisation does really help especially during term time. You want to make sure you're having fun, making the most experience and just doing what you can but also getting that degree. Especially if you're going to do quite a full on and quite a, what's the word I'm looking for? intense course like medicine like I do. You want to make sure that you're able to strike that healthy work-life balance. So I'm going to give you some advice on how you can do that. Before we get any further with the video, I just want to reiterate the fact that you're at uni. It's an experience. You're meant to make the most of it. You're meant to have fun. So don't make the mistake of planning your life around uni. As weird as it seems, plan uni around your life. If you've watched my video on things I wish I knew before first year, you'll know this is one of my biggest regrets, that I try to fit my life around uni. I want to do all the uni work first, all the hard work first, and then have fun, which is the wrong way to go about it. Doing it that way I missed out opportunities and I limited my socialising which is a bit <laughs> when you're at university but I still had fun, I still went out, still did things with my friends but just not as much as I should have done especially my first year. Okay getting started, as basic as this sounds you're going to want to make a list of all the things that you need to do and I literally just mean it, sit down and make a list of the things that are involved in your life. This includes actual uni stuff, so seminars, lectures, some time to study and then also other things like any clubs and sites you're going to be part of, when their meeting days are, any social events they've got, also like any weekly club nights you know you're going to want to go to, of of course you might not know this before you get started for example at nottingham we got crisis and every wednesday i don't keep doing this with my hands i don't know but every wednesday is the crisis social event at rock city or you've got like skin tuesdays things like that and then actual responsibilities such as cooking um going food shopping and then also time to relax and time to like organize i make my weekly timetables using google calendar as you can get this on literally any device as long as you log into a google account you can access it and it's also really easy to edit so once you've got your list you're then able to slot it into your timetable yes i said don't plan your life around uni but it is important that you do actually put your uni timetable into the template first so put in your actual uni timetable for the week first into your google calendar and then add in all your extra bits this just makes it so much easier to see what you've got the upcoming week when you can relax when you can go out when you can get organized just things like that rather than trying to keep mental tabs in your head and forgetting things and getting stressed also it gives you a good idea that you'll know maybe on a thursday morning your lecture is going to start at 10 a.m rather than like 9 so you can stay out a bit later on the Wednesday or even if your lecture does still start at nine just turn up with no sleep hungover who really cares it's uni so last little thing for those perfectionists like me I want to remind you that not every single week is going to be perfect and not every single week will you be able to stick to the timetable things that you weren't expecting will come up and they might kind of like throw you off balance but just don't worry the timetable or the schedule isn't there to dictate your life but it's to help you to be a bit more organized and a bit more structured each week that's the end of the video guys thank you so much for watching Again, if you're new, please stick around and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on post notifications. If you've not already, be sure to watch the other videos in my University Advice series where I'm giving you lots of advice for university based on my experience in first year. Um, see you in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>
chicks down in Texas All the way to New Orleans where the girls cook catfish And in the 